regardless of what backgrounds a student is coming from, the two years of MBA journey fundamentally transforms a person and helps the person grow into a different personality. And today's managers need to understand technology and the emotional connect with human beings at the same time. Everyone, so today we have Dr. Rajesh Chakraborty with us, and we're going to ask you questions to him and uh, let you on the insights about the B School. So, sir, the first question is: Can you let us uh, on the journey of your entire B School from a normal person to a director? Thank you. I have spent more than a quarter century now, I think, in the B School world, and it all started with noticing an advertisement for CAT exam about six months before I actually sat in the CAT exam. And it was nothing to do with my efforts or ability. It was entirely to do with luck that I got selected. And I joined IIM Ahmedabad long before I think most of the audience of this show was on this planet. This is going back into the early 90s. And uh, so I completed the two years at IIM Ahmedabad, took up a job. And the job that I took up was the primary intention was take GMAT and push off to do my PhD. And I did that the next year, went off to the US. And in five years, I completed my PhD I, between two universities and uh, from UCLA, University of California, Los Angeles, and then took up a, my first teaching assignment in Canada. Left that, moved the following year to Georgia Tech in Atlanta, and I was there for about six years. Then returned to India to join ISB. I was there for about eight years on two campuses, Hyderabad and Mohali. Quit and moved to a philanthropic entity. Spent a year there and then came back to academia to Jindal Global Business School where I became dean. Left it to join MDI as director. And now I'm the director at uh, the Derabasi campus of Thapar Institute and the Dean of the L.M. Thapar School of Management. So uh, all the aspirants know about the journey from a CAD to an MBA B school, but nobody knows about what happens in the two years. So if you can give some insights of what exactly happens in those two years of life. Yeah, I think regardless of what backgrounds a student is coming from, the two years of MBA journey fundamentally transforms a person and helps the person grow into a different personality. It certainly instills professional skills, makes him or her better at the job work. But beyond that, the MBA program poten has the potential of drawing out unknown reserves out of a person. So I'll give you my own example as a student. And I have observed this in other places as well. So when I went to IIM Ahmedabad, the first term I found out that contrary to what most people say, you can actually go without sleep for 72 hours at a stretch. And you really don't need to sleep six to eight hours every night. In fact, that's a luxury. You can do fine with a couple of hours of sleeping. The deadlines and the volume of work that we are being assigned is absolutely impossible and inhuman. And yet, you can do a moderate level of performance in all of that. I had never believed that I was capable of t producing that much unless I was forced to go through that process. So I certainly believe that MBA programs need to be extremely rigorous and demanding and instill professionalism into students so that they discover what they themselves are capable of, which very often they are not aware of themselves before joining the program. So thank you so much. That was really great insight. So, so you've been impacting lives of many students out there. So is there someone in your life who impacted you the most or was there something that he mentioned that is still in the mind and you would love to pass on to the students out there? Well, to answer this question, I'm tempted to go back again to my own student days. And there used to be a professor at uh, IIM Ahmedabad when I was there as a student who was a f former professor of National Institute of Bank Management. His name was Professor S.P. Singh, Sampath Singh. And he was, he was probably the best-known, most-loved teacher. He used to teach finance, 
and we used to love his classes not because of the finance that he taught us but because of the drama that he could enact in the classroom and he was just a one man show to watch and about how to how to tell a story unfortunately i don't remember what finance funders he gave me but i do remember that teaching and he became my model teacher and i have never in my life come close to achieving what he has done in the classroom but certainly i had a sense of what a good teacher in a management uh, institute could look like so so apart from that you've been through many students in b school so is there any funny moment that has impacted that the student has done or anything that you have had a funny moment in your life before the b school or during the b school or after that so once again going back to my student days we had a professor in marketing whom everybody was scared of because if you gave a response to his questions and you had no choice but to give response because if you did not then you would lose out some 40% of class participation or something so you were under tremendous pressure to say something meaningful or not and then he would start cross questioning you on whatever you have said till you finally give up and break down kind of a thing that was his reputation so sometimes he also asked questions which didn't make too much sense but just in the process of cross uh, interrogation so i remember one uh, one incident and it involves my classmate and uh, later a uh, very famous author reshmi bansal she was there in the class and this professor was asking this question about how to promote a particular product and i think she said well we could put up hoardings and she had to say something to get those points reserved for class participation so she said that and the professor walked about 1 feet within her looked her close in the eyes and said well how do you propose to put up a hoarding so she looked at the professor back and straight she said well sir i take a ladder go up and paste the hoarding i remember that response even now <laughs> <laughs> that was really really like great if you could uh, give one liner suppose if that was supposed to go in the magazine so one cover liner for the college that you would want to give on that magazine what would it be from coding to classics because we think today's mba education needs to cover a much wider spectrum than it used to even a few years ago and today's managers need to understand technology and need to understand the emotional connect with human beings at the same time so our aspiration is to sensitize not necessarily teach or put in because we only have 2 years to teach everything that we need to teach and more but sensitize people to cover a wide range from coding to classics classics meaning classic literature of course thank you sir that was great having an interview so uh, we could end this interview if you could give us uh, some inspirational quote for the student who are aspiring for the uh, cat exam and or students who are thinking but they doubtful so if you could mention something for them my only advice to students or aspirants is to to have a slightly wider bigger agenda in life and i know that as youngsters at the threshold of their careers it is only natural for them to focus on the next job the career further down the road and the ctc and talk about rois but you know if you read a book which i'm currently reading called thinking fast and slow by daniel kahneman psychologists have shown that if you are very focused on money you tend to behave individualistically you have problems helping others and you have problems connecting with the group and an mba curriculum properly delivered gives you an opportunity to be a much better you that does not necessarily mean a wealthier you it can mean a much better human being and somebody who is capable of leading a much more fulfilled life so one should have a slightly higher goal and slightly higher ask from the mba program than just the financial roi you on board and it was a very good interview thank you so much sir